Good morning. Uh, my name is Margaret Nichols, and uh, I'm a sixth and seventh grade math teacher. Um, the project that I've chosen to um, do for this assignment is designed for sixth grade math students, and it satisfies several of the requirements for the completion of the statistics and probability strand of the sixth grade math standards. Um, some background on the information um, in February of this year, just recently, um, my two sixth grade classes recorded the uh, high daily temperatures for, in our area for 21 days. And we used that data to create a frequency table. And from that frequency table, we were a, they were able to create a dot plot and a box plot. And so that is what I'm going to be demonstrating for my lesson today. Sixth grade math, we're gonna be studying uh, statistics and probability. And these are the objectives for this lesson. The extreme is just the lowest number. So that's gonna be 69. Um, the highest number is of course 80, which we've talked about before. And the range of my uh, graph is going to be 80 minus 69, which is 11, 11. And then we go to the next thing, which is the median. We go find the median. Uh, one thing that I try to teach them, since there are an odd number of data in our, in our um, co data collection, <clears throat> there is going to be a middle number. And so I try to get them to guess where that middle number is going to be. And, and this time we could say it's going to be 10 numbers in the middle, then 10 more numbers. So I'm just going to count to 10, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is the 73 that is the median. And what that does is it splits our data into a, top, a bottom half and, uh, and a top half. 50% are below the median, 50% are above the median. Our next point that we're going to determine is either it's either called the first quartile or the lower quartile. We go find the median of this group of numbers, okay? And so the median of this group of numbers is going to be right here in the middle. Uh, notice how there's five numbers here and five pieces of data here. So this is going to represent the middle. And in the middle of 71 and 72 is 71.5. All right, we'll do the same thing for the upper half of the data. So one, two, three, four, five, right? And one, two, three, four, five. So we, what we've done is we effectively um, divided our data into quartiles. They're the same number, the same number of the same number of data is uh, in each quartile. And, um, and that's what um, the box and whisker is all about. And to, the last thing that we need to determine is the interquartile range, which we take the third quartile, which is 75.5, and subtract the first quartile from that. So four is gonna be my interquartile range. So the last step here is just to now go put it on my number line. Uh, my lower extreme is uh, 69. So I'm going to mark it with a line like this. The upper extreme, mark it also with a line above the 80, right? Um, median is 73. I'm going to mark it with a line. Uh, 71.5 is my first quartile, and my third quartile is 75.5. And this, from the first quartile through the median all the way to the third quartile, is going to represent the middle 50%. That's a lot of people use that data in businesses, and we use it uh, for grading a lot also to determine how, how students perform on, um, on uh, standardized tests. And so this represents 50%. And to connect the uh, minimum to the box, we just draw this. It resembles a whisker. That's why at one time it was called a box and whisker plot. And then they should be able to answer questions uh, concerning concerning uh, the box and whisker plot, knowing that each section is broken apart into 25% uh, sections. So um, the percentage of days that were 71 and a half degrees or higher, so we would count the sections. And so each one <laughs> represents 25% of the data. So this would mean that 75% of our days that we recorded were above uh, that first quartile. And then here's another question that could possibly be asked. 
what percentage of days were less than 80 degrees or, or less. And so that would be all of it. So the percent would be 100%. Okay. And so I hope you've learned something about uh, dot plots and box and whisker plots. Our, our students think that these are kind of fun to make. And I hope you enjoyed um, the lesson. So this is my reference page, um, as stated earlier. I used um, the standards from the Mississippi Department of Education uh, that I hyperlinked into my document and, uh, and I used those standards to create my um, to create my objectives which were at the beginning of the of the lesson.